Item 8 refers to the following diagram. So you have a Venn diagram here. Let me just highlight because you know the copy of this um, diagram is not very clear. Let me see if I can repeat the Venn diagram over here in case you're not seeing it very clearly so you have the Venn diagram here and you have the circle for the thing there the subsets P and Q now here in the Venn diagram the number in P uh, the number in P is 5 the number in Q is 9. The number in P union Q is 10. What is the number in P intersect Q? Alright. <clears throat> so. Is it 1, 4, 5 or 9? Now here. You can use different methods of doing it can use a formula. The formula says the number in P union Q is equal to the number in P plus the number in Q minus the number in P intersect Q. Alright? So the number in P union Q is 10 is equal to the number in P which is 5 plus the number in Q, which is 9. Minus the number in P intersect Q, whatever that is. Call it X. So, 5 and 9 is 14. So, 10 is equal to 14 minus X. If you subtract 14 from both sides, you minus 14 from the right. You minus 14 from the left. 10 minus 14 is negative 4. 14 minus 14, that's gone. So, negative 4 is equal to negative X. So, positive 4 is equal to positive x. So, x is 4, right? So, you can see here that the answer is b. It's 4, b, right? Now, um, the fact is, you know, that if you should put in the elements and count them up, the number in P is 5. The number in Q is 9. Number in P union Q is 10. So, here. Say you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then you check the number in Q must be 9. So you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, too little, 8, 9, 10. And you can rearrange these now and say you want a total of 10. You want 9 to be in Q. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. That means you have to move. One of these over here. Why right, is jump over here? And one over here. How much do you have? How many do you have in Q? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine in Q. How much how many in P? One, two, three, four, five. Okay, good. And the total <coughs> is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. It's well set up now. So, here, this, you know, is somewhat like, for example, you have students in English class and you have students in mathematics class. So, 
you have a total of 10 students. Let's say P, English class, and Q is mathematics class, right? And you have five students in the English class. Mary, John, Faith, Junior, that's four so far, and Michael, good, that's one, two, three, four, five in English class. Then, four of these are also in math class. You have Mary in math class, John in math class, Faith in math class, Junior in math class, but the total in math class is nine. So, in addition to these students, you have you have Avril, you have Keith, you also have Vinette. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You need two more. You have Lilith. And you have Nora. And then somebody comes and look at the register. And they count. How many in English class? One, two, three, four, five. How many are in math class? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Right. So, what's the total number of students? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So, the union is fourteen. Right? What are you saying? No. The total here is 10. There are 10 students registered. So how is it that I'm counting 14? The reason is for those who are in both classes at the same time, the intersection. You have Mary, you have John, you have Faith, and you have Junior. So if you consider that now, you say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. But hold on, I saw Mary already. No. John is there already. Faith is there already. It's the same person, John. John is there already. So I have to start counting from April going down. If we had five. Then we say six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So the union is ten. Because four are in both classes at the same time. Alright? Four are in both P and Q at the same time. So the answer to question eight. 4B